Uh, I do like Chinese food. I'm not too big on it. Me neither. It, it just never, I don't know, just never appealed to me. More for me. <laughs> more for you indeed, and more for, and more grilled chicken nachos for me. Fine, I'll have my carnitas, but, but I'm I'm like that is still the thing that like for my family anyway always baffles people is that like my father and I we come from like a full on like straight up like Catholic from the from the motherland down south Mexican family, and my mom is again ev literally everything else from like Europe like a, a mix. Of a uh, different uh, ethnicity, uh, different and different, I guess different countries, origins and stuff. Um, lava down, do like that, chips and dips. Okay, so there's only there's only two of them I'm missing, so I'll keep that in mind uh, when we uh, do the obvious cutaway. Oh yeah, yeah. Whoa. So yeah, we enter the demon's mouth itself for our final portion of the game. Here we shall find Rezopolis. No weddings and. A funeral. Hey. Oh, jeez. And, and technically, we could just get that and head straight to the final boss, but... We can't. Come on. Everyone's been built up to this. we got to see what Rezopolis looks like. But it's yeah, almost... we gotta rub it. we got to rub it right in Rez's face. Penetrate Rez's inner sanctum. Never do that. Oh. oh stained glasses of the bosses. Or two of them, at least. Two of them. I love that the the remote for this level is literally located at the. Oh. Looks like we got us a fly and a spider twist. I think, but uh, yeah, it looks like. But this... yeah, I, I love that the remote's literally located in what looks like the freak, like they built in a freaking ch like a freaking church for Res here. An electronic church, but I mean, otherwise, yeah, also, yeah, it looks like this is like this is your Bowser's uh, road or whatever. Like this is the final push. Fighting against mechanized evil organic life forms that can't die, actually. Oh god. No, but they just they just just sit in awe like this. <laughs> I, love the, me. I love the He actually did that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who would do that? I'm unclean. I feel violated. <laughs> he, never did he, he never did recover from that tail time incident. I think I need to call my lawyer. Uh, this is the platform I was talking about in the frickin' uh, in the Circuit Central that I dislike. That uh, that I that I was so happy that that magnetic platform thing seemed to circumvent my tail. Oh hey, in a suit. Ooh, disco disco FIFA time, baby. With kitties and doggies oh. all around. And old men. Why is that? Why is that TV an old man? Oh. 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 Okay, make them all blue. Why not? And pretty much. Oh, it's Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. I can't. I'm sorry for Abraham making fun Lincoln. of that. Frogs. Frogs. The Frog Network. Not my kind of TV station. Fair. Now, uh, I'd also. So I'm assuming also at this point the collectibles are just there for lives because there were no collectible remotes. Uh, there, there is still a. Um, actually, no, that's right. I gotta pass on these. Uh, there is still a uh, bonus remote you can unlock from the collectibles here. Okay. There's only, the only thing you have to worry about is that. Uh, the, and there is. I think there is still a hidden remote somewhere, but there is only one red remote, so we'll only be here once. Okay. Ah. No hope. You got no this. Hope oh no. See, this is where this gets annoying for me, is if it's a large area and you're just... Oh, speaking, of, uh, speaking of hidden remote... Oh, hey. What the hell? Hello! Oh. Hello there, young lady. Uh, what the hell was that, actually, though? What was that thing? Uh, it's a droid that you technically have to ground pa to, to tail bounce in order to kill, but you'd have to do it on the floor. Oh, Jesus, getting closer. Oh. <laughs> it's just, just the bang sound of it. Get out of here. Oh, get safe. No. Oh, see what you made me do. Yeah. <laughs> now look what you made me do. You made me dip my tail. But yeah, no, I, do, I don't care for platforms like this. I feel like they just, I feel like they're such a drag. Okay, you, now you gotta go. Dang. <laughs> Worth yeah, it. Yeah, now we, get, now we gotta collect toolboxes and I don't think we're gonna be able to be up there. Hopefully they'll reset in time. Oh, there they go. There Thankfully are. they do. Otherwise, that would have been that would have been very harsh. Yeah, harsh, dude. Why you ruined my freaking sense of birth? Yours, yours is mine. Aw, well, mine is yours. No. Okay, well, that, that's only mine, mine. I no share. 
Nintendo, do you, <laughs> Nintendo, are you gonna give me an option to sell? Uh, to buy, to sell. You can give me well, an hang option on, go back to buy your. It says Res sells all or Res is all or something like that. Oh, no, whoops! Uh, Look what you made him do. A type. I just want to make sure I read that sign the right. We'll see it then. Oh, guess what? We're gonna see it real soon. Uh, hang on. I mean, you know, we'll make it. We'll make this worth our while. This is literally the last level. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Whoop! It says. Okay. Res sees all. Oh, okay. Yeah, that R almost looked like a B, and I was gonna, but I was gonna say, who's Bez? <laughs> Out of nowhere, yes. they just introduce a new character. It's just Rez wearing lipstick. Tony, so have you taken out that obnoxious gecko yet? I'm going <laughs> to beat him. Do it your like, damn I'm... self! It's like, Don't it's like, you sass me. <laughs> I'm going to beat him, Bez. You just, you see. Oh, this glass. And what if I told you about buying more of those weird cyclops looking machines? We're not made of money, you know. They just want love! And then he just sits slapped and they all go... <gasps> you are a chair, dear. I can dream, Harold! <laughs> That's exactly... Honestly... <sighs> Sorry about that. I see now how this puzzle works. And where did this disco floor come from? I want to make this house a home! Uh, I like the, um... I like the idea of, um... I like the idea no of because I could see that if there was ever a dumb ge a dumb uh, Gex TV show, I could see that being the case where Rez is just insane to the point where he's talking to himself as all these different personalities, uh, <laughs> a la the Grinch so or something he, like that through the different TVs. So it's like the cooking. Ch Go ahead. You know what you say that that just makes me think back to the whole Willy the Wombat stuff for Crash Bandicoot oh. back when that was going to be a thing. Well, yeah. I think he means in a sense of like talking to like his reflections like the Grinch did in the Grinch can the hat story. Uh, well, I mean, well, it's that that I was thinking of like uh what am I what am I thinking of? Oh crap. I, I know this. I know this. Uh no, not Gusto with his different bodies with the different with his different like outfits and stuff there. And it's like the in the sense Oh, you know what it is? It's really dumb. Just Ooh. hear me just hear me out though. Anyone here ever seen Spy Kids 3D? Yeah, I have. Remember uh, the guy that uh, uh, freaking uh, Sylvester Stallone plays? The toy maker. The toy maker, oh and how like he had those three copies or those three digital clones that like had different like outfits and personalities that were like arguing with him or like doing like their own like discussions with him, uh -huh. like. Basically, I see that, like, with Rez, like, suddenly, like, as he's, like, going insane, talking to himself, on the television, there's, like, Rez wearing a housemaid's, a uh, housemaid's, a, 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 a housewife's outfit as part of the cooking channel, and he's like, Rez, sweetie, have you taken care of that pesky gex yet? I'm working on it, dear. But it's, he's literally just talking to himself at that point. And then you have, like, a black and white, like, wartime show one being like, That's Quitter Talks, Rex, and we all know you're not a quitter. I, mean, we, uh, I know, I know. I gotta pick myself up. And then it's just him, and then it's just him wearing clown makeup, and he works for Fox News. I just think you need to lighten up, Meryl chap. I don't know where that joke was going. I'm gonna uh, remove that joke. I'm uh, gonna you, say... You, you say, you say he, that, that's the Fox News side of uh, Rez. I see that more as the Monty Python. You know what? Let's go with that. Let's commit to that joke instead. We are not amused. Uh, no one. No one will ever suspect him. No one will ever suspect. Rest is like, we're not doing the Spanish Inquisition. We've talked about this. Motor. Behind. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Thankfully, we did We did find a checkpoint. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, ah, I actually didn't even react to it before. I'm growing a tolerance. <laughs> well, you did react to it back there. I was about to say, it was very short-lived tolerance. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe someday. So close. Now, I'm just uh, thinking about, yeah. like, Monty Python stuff. It's like, there he is. What, behind the gecko? He teased the gecko. Honestly, yeah. Uh, th considering that Rez, a god of media and technology, his biggest foe ever is a frickin' couch potato Whoop. gecko... I'd be just as equally, like, baffled, to be fair. Man, I did not- I- it did- it only just now occurred to me how many double damn lives you got throughout this whole game. Because we can get all those collectibles. Yeah, it, 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 it's honestly one of those cases where, like, the, the requirement for getting one-ups in this game are pretty easy compared to, like, your traditional Mario or Sonics. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, you only need 30, you need 30 for the, 30 collectibles for the first life, then 40 for the second life, and then it just goes from there. Every single level. That's fair. So, this is where they decided to change code. I guess so. Yes, it does. It. Now, this has to be the most oh. awkward spot for this fucking oh. enemy. Oh, so I just now realized he actually, like, shoots stuff at you. Yeah, when he's not, you know, petrified. That's it. You gotta go, dude! Oh, boy. Ow. I guess I'm the one going oh. down that day. <laughs> he was like, uh, he was, wow, he, he just freaking turned that table on you. But, uh, oh, he's gotta do that platform again. Just easy does it. Oh, nah. That was not easy. Or does it? Yeah, Lee. This is it. The final tostata. Easy does it. Okay. Confidentially, what does the tostata even taste like? It's like a... I, I, I want to say it's like a... It's like, think of it like an open-faced taco. Oh. <gasps> is it fish taco shaped like a fish? That's what, I always felt like that's what he's like doing a big old gasp. Like... <gasps> But yeah, no, it's basically, I, I want to say, let me look this up, because I remember the last time I had what I thought was a tostada, it was literally just an open-faced taco. Yeah, okay, it, it is literally just an open-faced taco. It's, take the contents of a taco, but crisp the tortilla and make it completely flat, so it looks like a Mexican pizza. Uh, it sounds messy. It, it can be. It absolutely can be. And also, not to be confused with actual Mexican pizza. Right. Which don't really look all that appetizing to me. Dude, I, I, I saw that freaking video from Vinny Vine Sauce where he was covering, like, international pizzas, and and, and then Hugbees even did a video on... Oh, I'm actually that? astonished we caught that. I, yeah, same here. Like, I figured I, that was a, I was a goner. I already was... I had already resigned myself to sigh in disappointment. Actually, like, international pizza thing, that sounds more like a thing I would expect from Good Mythical Morning than, uh, than... Who, who'd you say was it again? Hugbees. He's the guy who did videos like... Wow. He's the guy who did videos, uh, like, how it's actually made. Where he... Like, that was, like, the bowling ball thing that Matt and I loved. And the, um... The Jawbreakers episode. And careful! Oh! oh there you go. Honestly, just... How do we not take damage for that, actually? I had the fly. Oh, also, right, 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 yeah. to save, save on some future stress. Thank you. But also, like, I, yeah, I also want to make sure a... I heard... I also want to make sure I heard you right. Did you see that channel's name was Hugbees? Yes. H-U-G-G. Hugbees! Not that. <laughs> Moose! Okay, this is uh, what I meant to do. Okay, and then wait for it. Yeah! 30 days in the cooler. Oh! Oop! <laughs> Rewind powers, that's what we'll call this You know, channel. at this point, I don't even care. The channel. Oh. Yeah, I see, it's just him talking about all of his evil plans and all of the ways he's going to punish those who uh, disrespect him. But it is so in the 30... cooler. For talking. For talking. <laughs> no talking in the middle of the film! 30 years, dungeon. <laughs> it's just, you go all the way down, don't you? Oh yeah, no, we can just we can just go and to the file where they're all unlocked. Because I, I will say, thank goodness, the game does allow you to replay levels. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. This better be worth my time. Oh, okay, here we are. Oh, the Church yeah. of Reds. Ah, and there's even TV and there's even complimentary television sets right in front of the chairs. Yeah, the. You know what? I feel like kids would probably be more inclined to go to church if there were many TVs in front of all the pews. Yes, I, I, I mean, that's how they almost... Oh, oh hey, look at that. Uh, I mean, that's how uh, Cool Cuts basically advertised itself at the time was, Hey, do you want to get a haircut while playing Monkey Ball? <laughs> Doesn't that seem a little bit, like, counterintuitive? Because it's like, wh like I what knew if you it. get... Rez's power was Abraham Lincoln all along. So it is. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just had this idea of like, what if while you're playing the game, because you know, you know how sometimes you have like this instinctual urge to just kind of like jerk your body in motion when you play a game? Yeah. What if you do that while you have the hair cut and it messes up the barber and he accidentally either cuts off too much hair or cuts off something that's not hair? Yeah. To be fair, that was not a good idea on their part. They, and uh, that, that was where I was able to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Monkey Ball, but... Yeah, in hindsight, it was n especially especially because not yet, James. Next time. Yes. 
Honestly, I will admit, I I had this joke joke in mind like this whole time where like, you know how in cooking shows they they teach you how to show off the meal and then they just give you like a already prepped up version of it after it's all said and done. And then through the magics of key TV cooking time, ta da! You've successfully perverted the, the laws, laws of, of God, God and, and man. man. Yeah, it's like hey, this this should take you forty eight minutes. But we only have two minutes of cook of, of, of broadcast time left, so here it is. Okay, so okay, that's what you're trying to do. For a minute, I thought it was gonna be like, wait, are we really just dedicating an entire like audio session just for that one level? Absolutely not. That would be a no. massive waste of time and resources. What so what we are going to do is I'm going to make a video where I where I do cooking mama. Oh god. And we cook. <laughs> you know, for for people that are wanting that cook better than even mama can make okay I, I i'm not gonna do that that would be meh you know what i can't even make the joke of no one would want that because i didn't stop Seely from doing reader rabbit that's a very good point it was it was it was it was it was harmless also there's oh it's this round i remember this one let me just make this sure was that... one of them bugged yep. out and chipped at, and chips and drips was the other one yep so uh this one <laughs> i remember this one very thoroughly james I Fine. let's just say that unless you know a certain way of doing it, it sucks. Yep, because this gimmick is when you get little goodies from the from the channel res people, but they only appear when you hit this gear, and then they go bananas. Look at them all. But yeah, beyond that, as you see there, just you want to hit it a couple of times so that you can hopefully get a good number of them in one fell sweep of the tail. Like so. And they don't give you a lot of time to do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, time! Where? Up where they walk. Up where they up where they run. Up oh. where they stay all day in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was about to have a joke, but I was like, I, I can't, what the fuck? <laughs> my joke was going to be when that, what, my joke during the first two seconds of that note were going to be having, chiming in as, Mrs. Bighead, you have a voice of an angel. But then it just went on for five more seconds, and I was like, I, I, I can't, I don't, I, 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 I missed my window. And, okay. and you know what? I was really tempted to see how long I can hold that note, but I figured it would have been too grating after a while. It really was after second three, but I still love it. Uh, <laughs> you know what it was? Hey, wow, wow, wow. First try. We, nice. You know what that reminded nice. me of for some weird reason? What's that? Cat in the Hat. The bit... Speaking of the, you know, infomercial cooking TV time, when he chopped his own tail in two at one point. Oh, oh I see. Little, I little chopped son. it off. And I was like, oh, it's just a little son of a bop. And they just kept to the hang in there, baby. He's like, <laughs> look, I'm not saying we're going to sue, but I'm just saying we may have a case. Talk later. I hate that that's one of the few things I do remember. Well, you know what? What am I saying? Hey, I love the fact that that's like one of the only things I actually remember from that oh, movie. Sh there are well, some... It, okay. It's one of the funnier jokes. I don't blame you. Mike Myers' improv doesn't always work. Especially not with a character like the cat in the hat. Yeah. No. I, I, I'll say this. Absolutely. It's very non-sequitur. Lol, random, loud, in your face. It's... Especially knowing, say, how Charles Martinet per portrayed Cat in the Hat, like it's definitely a a stark contrast. To be fair, Charles's was more directed and more along the lines of like, you know, this is what the cat would yeah, act like, you know, and all of like the stories and whatnot. Like, I feel like Charles was very much directed in his portrayal of the cat, whereas with Mike, a lot of it is just like, hey, you know how Jim went nuts Kimbo with the Grinch? Do that. And, uh, yeah, all we got was a Klonoa game, but fortunately, no longer the last Klonoa game to have been made. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Was that, we got another, like, two, three months? Uh, July. Damn. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of a wait. At the time of recording. We get Kirby soon, though. Yeah. 
Like Kirby comes out next month, doesn't it? Uh, yes. This month. As a record, uh, yeah. Oh. This literally at the end, near the end of this month, of this recording. Oh, uh, that's right. It just turned March. Yes. Correct. You're old. Where the hell are we? Oh, here we go. I just realized I, I skipped. I skipped. Oh, www.dork.com. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. I feel like we're. Oh, you know what? I'm going the exact wrong. Yeah, direction. we're in the shaft, and either we, we should get off on the top floor or the middle floor. It was this floor. Oh. Oh, because bonuses. Aha. We're back down that first one. No matter. Um, but yeah, no, it's. The, but uh, see, so yeah, when he's loud and it gets his improv is kind of middling. Um, but uh, let's say, let, let's see. Uh, I would say it's an instance where his improv really works depending on the character. Like for example, with uh, Wayne from Wayne's World, I feel like a lot of his improv there works because you know it's tailor made for a character like Wayne. His improv is not really tailor made for a character like the Cat in the Hat. Agreed. I'll say when he's directed, be it Austin Powers to an extent, and Shrek, I think he can be just fine. Well, Austin Powers, I feel like was uh, he was a lot more in control of compared to Shrek. Oh my gosh, this is a big room. Royally just go. That up. I see. You're supposed to get these on your way down. But we we got a minute and we, we have a minute and only five more of these things. Oh, my, they give you more than enough. Yeah, I figure like there are usually Done. instances where you only have like oh. See, look at that. Code, Code Warehouse. That's a weird man. Speaking of Wayne's World, Toxic, toxic Gameplay, Disciplinary Unit, unit uh, Psychic, psychic hotline. hotline. Yeah, oh, that, the, start. The, web, the web has a lot of dark dark secrets that the, that even they don't want you to know about. Oh, so. Oh, oh, oh. Get a little power recharge. Cody, RDA, Tater, Tater Chips, Chips STR, Stop. Griffin, Cody. Cody. And whatever this thing is. Green platform. The magic potato. You call it a potato. I call it a fucking, uh, la I call it a Ooh. long strip of taffy. Whoa. Yeah, I can see that too. Um, but yeah, no, just uh, some bits I remember liking, like the bit. With, like, I do like some of the bits with thing one and thing two. Really. Like the bit with their names was funny to me. You can also call him Thing King, Kid Dynamite, Chocolate Thunder, or oh. Ben. Ben. <laughs> 